Hey, this is Richie from Super Soul, and I'm going to show you our VR Jam game, Entry Day Dream Blue. So we start off here, and this is the intro to it. It's pretty quick. It just teaches you some of the basic verbs of the game, which pick up, uh, tap touchpad to pick up, swipe to throw, drag to kind of slingshot things. Um, and it's prompting you to look at the sun, which fades in the world. So it's not very long. It's just to teach a little bit about it, and you can see the world now that I'm looking around at. Um, it's got a low poly style, which we wanted because we wanted to spend more time capturing kind of movement and feel of objects than to go for a, a realism, which we kind of eliminated pr pretty quickly because of the issues with frame rate. Um, so we abandoned the, we're using Unity, but we abandoned the Unity uh, terrain system and basically built our own meshes and our own trees and everything. Here you can see I'm trying to skip rocks, which actually is very hard with the mouse. It's a lot easier with a swipe motion in uh, the game. And here I am um, casting out the fish. So we've got a number of different activities around the campsite for the player to explore. And the way we set it up, we really like it because it's, uh, it's kind of modular. So I think it could scale well. We can add in more items later. Oh, okay, so here comes the plane that, that starts about a minute into the game and you're probably going to hear all those squeaks in my chair my chair really needs w40 anyway um so something's falling from the sky it's our robot buddy so we need to work on that particle effect graphic but the box falls and i think i'm going to go ahead and go back over there there's also another bug which is supposed to pop out instead it drives out of the box um so here it is you can see some prompts which is uh how to control it and i'm going to play fetch for a little bit with my robot buddy we actually, we're using uh, Pocket Sphinx to do voice commands. Um, so on the uh, on the actual Gear VR, you can, I can't think what we have now. I think we have uh, here, drop, go, stay, I think maybe fetch. A number of different functions to actually, you can tell the dog what to do, or sorry, robot. I keep saying dog, because originally we had a dog in there. We abandoned the dog because we were worried that we are going to spend too much time trying to get it to feel or look right with its animations and less time with the behavior and, and how we wanted to relate to our creature. Also felt that uh, it would just be more interesting and playful to have this kind of robot buddy that you have. Um, so now I've thrown it and the robot's going to swim over and get the ball. And I was trying to skip some more rocks at it, but it didn't really work. Now I'm going to go back to the fishing pole. So one of the things we like to do this week before the end, aside from polish and, and play testing, is to get a little bit of a feel for how we imagine the game would go forward. Um, so we have this modular ability to add places to go in the world and things to do. What we'd like to do is kind of create a game loop out of that where players can play these different games in the world, either with their robot or say fishing oh uh, yeah i'm trying to catch a fire we can't cook the fish right now and here is um another golf game so you play these games oh and the robot's kind of stupid right now so it just drove directly through the fire knocked out the wood um it's it's not the brightest at the moment but we you play these different games and when you when you win at them or you do well at them or sometimes it's maybe just the act of playing kind of like a rpg experience system you get um, customizable so either it's maybe a bow that you can put on your robot just to decorate it or it could be something like a propeller that allows you to shoot the robot into the sky that plays another game that wasn't previously available with cloud collecting um, so there's a lot of things that I think we could do to expand on this world over time here I'm just going so we also want the player to be able to kind of choose how much they want to spend um, you know how much time they want to spend doing a given task or, or be in the world or what they want to do there sometimes you just want to chill out so this is an example of the raft where it prompts you to lie down and you kind of just lay there and take in the world and the music and the sounds uh, and don't really have to play any games or anything and other times you can play games so that ends in and it's coming up to five minutes there's uh, a, there's yeah I'm just rambling now so thanks for watching